Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about how to fix your frunk, but first let's get it open. Okay, so you might be wondering what the hell's wrong with the frunk. Uh, it looks fine, and yes, it does look fine. Uh, but if you have OCD like me, you'll notice things like this panel up here. So this is how you access your 12-volt uh, battery, which is underneath here. And also there is an air intake here for the inside air if you turn on the recirculate in the, in the cabin. So you'll notice that this section here is always loose. So you can always lift this up. And if I can get the camera in there, you can see there's a white clip there. And that's meant to go into a, a hole that's part of this whole piece. And no matter what you do, you can never clip that in. That sounds like it's clipping, but it's not. So if you look at it again, the clip is still there and it's not inserted properly. And I thought this was just a design fault. So maybe, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't design this frunk piece properly and there's no way you can actually press this in. Uh, until I scoured the interwebs and I discovered that there is actually something underneath this part here, which is actually broken. So I'm going to open this and show you how to fix it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is obviously take off this panel up here. Uh, it's very easy. Basically, you just pull and it starts popping out. And very quickly, all the clips will pop out. And on the back, you'll see there are, there are basically clips all around. And it's basically uh, this clip, which is never clipping quite properly. So put this aside and I'll talk about why that never clips properly. Okay, so I've gotta move the camera here. Okay, so that middle clip that I pointed to before goes into this, this hole, this one, that one, right there. And as you can see, if I press down on it, this whole piece goes down with it. So uh, try and get this in focus. So you press on it, this basically whole piece flexes downwards. And as you can see here, the whole thing is moving. And there's no way you can put this in because the whole thing flexes down. So the problem is, there are two reinforcement clips here. So this piece here, you see there's, there's some clips here and there's a piece here. There's some clips here as well. Basically, this is meant to form like a leg kind of thing, which pushes against this metal brace so that when you push down, this is meant to hold it up so that you can actually clip these into the holes here. And this is actually broken. So I'm gonna remove this and show you what I mean and why it's broken. Okay, so different angle here, but basically you'll need a screwdriver uh, and you wanna basically release these two side clips and then this thing will basically just fall downwards. So I wanna try and do that now. Okay, so I got one side. Okay, got it. Okay, here's a close up of that reinforcement clip. So it basically goes in like this. So before, if you're viewing from the top, it was like this. Uh, and basically this clip you see here, uh, you can actually press in on this edge and that will help you release it from the, the, the piece here. So basically you do the same thing on both sides. You kind of press in and then this will fall downwards and then you'll press in and then you kind of want to pull this down and this whole thing comes out. Okay, so now that we've got that thing released, uh, let's see what's wrong with this. So right now, it's, it's broken. Uh, you might not be able to tell, but there's meant to be another piece down here. And you see there's three really small kind of legs. There's one here, there's one on this side, and then one on this side. And I don't know if you can tell here, but this is broken. There, there's meant to be a third piece, which is held by these three little legs. So, and it's a bit smaller than the top piece. So as you can imagine, as you apply force down, this piece just, the three legs just, just snap. And then that smaller piece basically just goes inside. Uh, and then if it completely tears these three legs, it's very easy to break. They're, they're freaking tiny. They're like, what, three millimeters across? Uh, so that will break and mine's just broken completely. And that piece is just gone. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's maybe dropped down there. Maybe it's somewhere on the road. I don't know. It's just, it's just gone. So they're basically, this piece here is no longer being reinforced across that metal bar. So this is meant to be the leg and it's gone. So same thing on that side. So I'm gonna 
do the same thing on the other side to take it out and take a look. Okay, so for this side, you kind of want to release uh, this air intake piece first. So it's pretty easy. You just pop this out and same thing on this side. And then this thing just slides right out like that. Okay, so with that removed, uh, this is the clip. I will try and basically uh, squeeze this and take it out. So again, the inside part, you're gonna push that in with a screwdriver. So I've got one side. I may have just broken it, which is not good. Let me just see if I can fix that. Okay, so I've got one side. Other side. Okay, all right, so this, this side is more interesting. So I'll just change the angle so you can see it. Okay, so this came from uh, this side uh, over here. And when I said I almost broke it, I meant uh, this, you see this thing here? I've basically broken this, but I think it's okay because most of the force will be applying, you know, vertically anyway. So this clip just holds it in position. So I'm not gonna move this anymore so I don't break it any further. But the interesting part is that piece I talked about is still inside here. See, this one is actually still connected on this last point here, but the, the, the rear two have broken, as you can see. So this is what it's, this is what it's, oh, I just broke it. So <laughs> this is what it's meant to look like when it's in one piece. But whoever designed this is, I don't know, like why would you have three tiny legs that connect to this piece when you know that this is meant to, you know, support it vertically? This just seems like a terrible idea. As soon as you press down on this, this is gonna snap, it's gonna fold in, it's gonna be like this, which is exactly how I found it. So uh, now I wanna talk about how to fix it. Okay, so to fix this, uh, I mean, there are several ways. Uh, all you need is really the top part. You don't need the bottom part. Uh, basically, you can get some, I don't know, some foam or anything, something that's maybe some PVC piping or something. Just cut out a little slot for this triangle here. And then basically make sure that the height is the same. Double-sided tape, glue it, whatever you need to secure it in place. And then basically put this back in into the uh, underneath here and you should be set. But while researching this issue uh, on the internet, uh, I found someone that designed a 3D printed piece which basically goes around this and forms kind of like this, I don't know, trapezium kind of shape. Um, and I printed it. So I, luckily I had access to a 3D printer and here's some footage of me printing it. It's just a time lapse. It took four hours to print two of these and I think I did it at like the lowest quality and the highest speed and I think I did the infill to five or 10%, I forgot now. But the suggestion is 100% infill, which if you know 3D printing, that's taking a long time and basically it's a solid piece. So it is structural, so maybe a high percent infill is, is better, but I just did, I did, I think I did 10%. So I'll, I guess I'll drop an update in the, in the description if I find that 10% is no good. But I'm gonna slot that piece onto this and then put it back in and see if I can finally clip this goddamn cover back on properly. All right, so here are the completed pieces. Uh, I printed them in PLA. Uh, the quality is actually not that, that bad. Uh, I chose the highest speed, lowest quality, and it still looks pretty good. Now, PLA may not be the best material for this because I think PLA is, has a lower melting point. So this might get soft in summer and might deform a little bit. But again, I'll update the description uh, to let you know if PLA was a good choice or not. So keep an eye out for that if you are watching this you know, a bit further in the future. So how this works is, this is the broken piece. And basically it just slots in. So this little cutout fits the, the, the clip and then basically put it in and you push it down and that's it, that's it. And th basically this makes it long enough so that this basically acts as a leg. So I'm gonna put these in and um, secure it. Starting on the, the right side or the, the passenger side. Uh, so this, this third leg goes under. So you wanna go in this way, uh, so just you have to lift this up a little bit, so it's, it's okay, it's flexible, so you'll be right. She'll be right. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm skewing the camera a little bit here. And line it up with the holes and push down, and that's it. This is now solid. This is not flexing anymore. This is perfect. This is beautiful. All right, let's go to the other side. Okay, this is over to the driver's side or the left side. So when I say driver's side, I'm, a, I'm in a right-hand drive model for those watching uh, overseas, not in Australia. So again, this is the, the third leg. You kind of want to put that facing towards the, the front there. Hopefully I don't break this any further. So again, you got to lift this up a little bit and try and put this in and then line up the holes. 
There we go. And oh, that's it. It's in. Wow. Okay, this is this is solid. This is not moving. This is beautiful. Okay, so just putting uh, the cover back on here. So you basically slide it in and then aim for the holes. Bam, they're in. So just to demonstrate, before this thing was super flimsy. I mean, yes, it is still a little bit flimsy, but it's way, way tougher than before. Um, I should be able to get this clip in now. So let's, let's try that. All right, moment of truth. Here comes the cover. Uh, so the clips, they're there. This is the clip we're talking about. This is the one that never goes in. So here we go. Uh, let's see, let's start from the side. Let's go around here. This is the middle one. Holy shit. I mean, yes, it's in, it's in. Yep, now you, there's no way you can lift this now. This is, this is in and solid, perfect, beautiful. Anyway, that's about it. I think that's it for this video. I hope it was useful and thanks for watching. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. So this is a 2019 model. Uh, I heard the 2020 model has the same thing, but if you have the smaller redesigned frunk, uh, you might not have this problem anymore. Uh, hopefully Tesla has fixed it. But yeah, I, I've read on the forum, the 2020 model, some of them still have this problem. So check your one. These clips must have broken in the factory. Probably worked once. Probably worked once when the tech put it in and then snap. And then if you ever take this off again, good luck to you, broken forever.